We are back again at New York, New York Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. All of the rooms have been remodeled here, guys. We've already done a room review on the Soho King and the Soho Queen, so you can go check those out. Today, we are staying in the Soho Premier King room. It's about 100 square feet bigger than the standard King room, and it has a couple extra fun little things, so let's take a look. Okay, so this is your little entryway area, not too big, but you don't really need a big entryway. So you got the cool mirror over here with some cool hooks. They did some really kind of fun details throughout these rooms. You get this cool little hanging light over here. And of course, all the cool wallpaper in this room, I'm trying to make it look like Soho in New York. All right, guys, so you do have more storage in this room than the standard room. The standard room, you usually, I think you get one of these. All right, so this is your closet area over here. There's not a lot of closet space, but there is a lot of storage space in this room. You've got a couple drawers here, some shelves. This is your hanging area. So it is small but I think most of us don't need to hang too much up when we come to Vegas. Okay, over here is your bar area. And the nice thing in this room is you get, wait for it, you get a mini, mini fridge. It is a small, but it's definitely nice in Vegas. You don't see many fridges in all the hotels anymore. Okay more cool artwork i do dig the artwork in this room i think it's really cool the wallpaper all right and the extra thing that the other rooms don't have is they don't have a separate dresser area but this room does because you do get extra room so you've got this nice big dresser with four big drawers in it nice size tv Okay, and then of course you've got your nice big king size bed. We stayed in these rooms before, very comfy, nice beds. You've got your little nightstands over here and you've got your hookups, which is always nice to have hookups. Um, plug those things in and then you got the light switches. You can turn the light on and off from right there. Cool little lamps. They've got the wallpaper behind the bed to make it look like it's brick. Okay, another nightstand over here. Same thing, plenty of places to hook your things in, charge them. Light goes on, light goes off. Okay, and then what I like in this room is you've got this cool little couch over here. Instead of having the two chairs and the table, you get the couch. There's your little table. So this is a corner room on the 32nd floor, okay? I was hoping for a better view. Um, the windows in here are small. You have several of them. But unfortunately, we've got this big thing in front of the window, so we can't see a whole lot. But if you see through the little circle here, you can see T-Mobile over there, over in the distance. You got Park MGM, Aria. So at least there's something to look at, but definitely try to get higher than the 32nd floor to get that better view. And here is our view at night. You don't quite notice this little structure as much in front of you at night. There's our view. another kind of roundabout here in your room over here nice nice room all right new air conditioners in here they did a nice job 
remodeling these rooms. Pretty happy with them. Here's your TV hookups over here. So if you bring that fire stick to watch what you want in Vegas, it'll be right there. There are windows behind here, guys, that you could open these drapes, but our view is not very good. But true I'll, New York experience. It is a true New York experience. You can kind of see we're just looking at buildings over here, and then you do have another window over here, but you know, not the best view. Maybe try to get into a higher floor if you get one of these rooms. All right, last thing we're gonna look at is kind of the disappointment for this room is the bathrooms. Um, they're small, even in this upgraded room, they're small. They really didn't do a whole lot of remodeling in here. I do know that the tile is the same tile that they had before. The granite here is the same. So really what they did when they remodeled these rooms was they fixed, or what they did was they put some new fixtures in. I mean, I like the mirror and the light, those are cool. Put some artwork up. Toilets look the same. I don't think they replaced those. And then the shower tub combo thing. I wish they would have at least taken the tubs out and put in a freestanding shower. But there is a tub and it's actually not too bad of a size. I've seen some hotels with teeny tiny tubs, so you can take a bath in here, um, but it's not like a big soaking tub, but you guys can tell they didn't replace. They put some new shower heads on, some new faucets, but they didn't change out anything else um, in here. So that's kind of a bummer. And then we're still stuck with the old, so not the funnest thing. So that would be my only complaint on the remodels here in New York. New York is the bathroom. And also, I hate how the toilet is so close to the vanity here. Because you have all this vanity space, but then the toilet kind of blocks it. So, not the best. But otherwise, guys, we've enjoyed these rooms. I think we're going to enjoy this room today. This room also... One more thing that's different than the other rooms, the standard rooms, just have carpet. So in here, you've got laminate, but it looks like wood. And then a little bit of carpet around your bed. So there you guys have it. This is our New York, New York King Premier Soho room. If you want to see the standard queen or the standard king room, go check those episodes out. If you want to see what else New York, New York has to offer, go check out our 15 minutes of New York, New York. But I do recommend if you're looking for a lower budget room, come on over to New York, New York and get on the roller coaster and have some fun. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you guys next time on the Vegas Strip. All right, guys, we just had to make a little bit of a trip to the ice machine. And no, it wasn't because the ice machine on our floor was broken. It was because there is no ice machine on our floor, the 32nd floor. So you have to come to the 30th floor to get to the ice machine. Fun. Right, let's head back to our room. Yeah, let's go back. Let me show you guys. Also, several different elevators on some of the floors. All right. More views out more windows. That's some great views. We gotta go up though. Is it going up? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, we didn't come down to 30. Yeah, it's a strange yeah. thing. I've never yeah. seen it. Oh. Did y'all get on the other elevator? I tried that. No, I got on this one, but I, it took me about five minutes to go. 
Because I came down to the other elevator, he's like, he comes up 34, and I was like, cool, we'll go up there. But it only goes like halfway back. That's, That's so weird. Yeah, yeah don't do the elevator. Okay. Okay. So it also looks like some of the other floors don't have ice. Oh, look there. Oh, look, honey. The sphere. Okay, so we need to come stand here when it's dark out. But there you go. There's a look at the sphere. It's a great shot, too, that property that's getting done. Oh, yeah. Uh, for the whole, remember the former Hawaiian. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, let's show you back on our weird little floor here. Yeah, so when you get right here, it tells you ice and bending on 430. There's very, very short hallway. And that's it. Back to our room with our ice. There we go. Not every floor here has an ice machine. We have ice. We have ice. Bye.